Chess friends, everyone appreciates the art of dedicating chess pieces where complex strategies and clever moves are in play, but imagine a chess game where a piece is sacrificed seemingly without a reason, today I'll share with you a memorable game in which I sacrificed my bishop against Magnus Carlsen. You've got to learn to leave the table when love's no longer being served, let's get started, I played queen's pawn opening and here, I sacrificed my bishop, you can call it my chess gambit but you shouldn't follow it, I played this move to show how I would use my strategy, structure and piece combinations being down a bishop against Magnus Carlsen, take and here I should play knight opening, e2 or old Indian, try to activate the bishop as soon as possible, develop the knight and play queen b3. But I go with c3, making a structure where the side pawns can break it in future, we have some developing moves and rook g8 to use the open file, so I played g3 and he played bishop e6, maybe he want to play castle so before, I want to develop my queen pawns, this bishop e6 move prevents the c3 pawn from moving, a6 to protect it so I continued my development with a4, bishop g3 and knight e4 is coming, so after bishop g2 knight e4 queen c2. Bishop takes knight isn't the best move because you will lose control over the light squares, so bishop f5 threatening to play knight takes g3 with attack, so takes takes queen e2, if you take the knight, and be settle in the queen side, then my pawn army will bombard you in queen side, so after castle e6 rook b1, after joining the rook to this file I will join my other rook, bishop here c4, takes takes and the rook and bishop will cut the cake on c6, f5 then we will sacrifice the rook. To play queen takes pawn, bishop takes c6 and checkmate is unstoppable. There is only one happiness in this life, to love and be loved, so back to the position, we have queen e6 castle queen g4 a3 queen backs and knight h4, this stupid Magnus Carlsen's queen move give me the opportunity to save the knight and open up the bishop line, so we have bishop exchanges on e4, queen c2 to target this so queen d5, rook b1 and you still can't play castle, let me show you the variation why, if castle then b5 will come, takes takes, and the knight has to run in a5, c4. If you capture it then rook c1 will destroy your position. Those who bring sunshine into the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves, so back to the position, Magnus strikes in the queenside with b5, we have c4 so he takes the pawn, b5, if you dare to capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, rook takes b5 to target the queen, if you play queen e6 to protect the pawn then d5 will will kill your knight, so in this position if you play queen d7 then queen takes e4 will come, getting this diagonal where I can make rook batteries. You may play e6 then d5 will come to kick out the knight, pawn take to target the queen with the rook threat, so queen blocks pawn check, takes takes. And the game will be in my favor, see how Magnus Carlsen is just a rat in front of me, I sacrificed my bishop in the opening against him and still, he is going to lose in my hand, so back to the position, he moved back his knight, I re-rotate my knight on g2 to go f4, knight e6 to protect that square so rook c1, pawn exchanges on b5 and here if you move back your queen on d6, then I will capture the e-pawn with a target, rook takes a4 rook b1 to make rook batteries. You might think of playing knight g5 or c3, let me show you the variations one by one, if knight g5 happen then we will play rook b8 check, king ups queen check pawn blocks then queen b5 will kill your rook in a4, queen b5 and here, many players may consider playing queen c6 move to protect the rook, but there is daring move rook d8 check, it will lose your queen on c6. You can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water, so back to the position, if you decide to play c3 then rook d5 will come to control this file, queen run away then rook b8 check will lead into mate in d8 square, game will be over, but Magnus Carlsen is a stockfish subscriber, he plays c5 to block the rank, pawn takes c5 and if you dare to capture the pawn, then knight f4 will target to your queen, queen backs queen takes c4, adding pressure to the knight. Even the rook can't support the knight because I have three attackers, e6 then queen b4 will come to pin the knight, position will be complicated for black, the main thing is that, I have the pass pawn right, so back to the position, we have rook d8 and queen exchanges on c4 square, I have two pass pawns, so knight g5 and playing a5 will be a blunder as black can checkmate me in two moves. 
So back to the position, we have knight h4 to protect that square, e6 a5 f4 c6 and I played a6, my pawns are just pushing forward, I have two powerful rooks to support them, rook a8, rook b7 to play c6, pawn promotion, which will be a checkmate, here best move for black is to play king d8, rook d7 check, king here then rook takes bishop, black will win up the pass pawn and the game will be draw, he had a chance to make this game into draw if he played knight takes h3, blundering the game. King g2 and the pawn promotion is a threat to the black king, now king d8 isn't the best move because of rook d4, so after takes c7, rook b8 we have a7, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.